Yes, I know guys, it's been a while since I've made a video here on Maker's Muse, but there's been a few things going on and a few things to announce. So, let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse and welcome back to another video. So basically, I've been away from the channel for quite a while and that's mostly because I recently competed in Robotronica 2017 at QUT with my combat robot called Vanguard. Long story short, we were meant to be flying to Brisbane from Sydney, but on the, the day we were meant to fly, there was high winds and Virgin decided to say, oh, by the way, we've moved your flight to the next day, halfway through the competition. So with that, yeah, that message at 9.30 a.m., I had to scramble to organize things and do a 12 hour cannonball run in my Mitsubishi Galant all the way to Brisbane to get to the competition, fight the robot, repair it constantly and come back. And there's gonna be a whole video on how that machine went because I used lots of 3D printed parts in it. It's actually really cool. But basically I'm back now and I've had one day to rest and straight back into things. So, Robotronica was one thing but basically I want to announce on this video that I am attending the World Maker Fair in New York City this September with none other than Lady Muse. So we're heading to the New York World Maker Fair and the idea is to meet you guys there, hang out with cool people and document as much as possible on the channel. There's also heaps of things coming up as well. On Maker's Muse, I'm trying to do more and more crazy projects. I enjoy them and I, it seems to be that you guys enjoy them too. So look forward to a lot of those as well. As well as some cool reviews, including the Raze N2 Plus, the same machine that made this thing, and also a review of the Olsen Ruby, which is a Ruby 3D printing nozzle designed for high abrasion 3D printing materials. And I'm gonna test it out using some crazy carbon filled nylon to make some high uh, impact robot parts to see one, do these filaments actually make sense? Are they stronger than regular non abrasive materials? And two, does the Olsen Ruby handle them? And I also want to take this opportunity to announce my new video course that's going to be coming out in around two months time. So you can pre-sign up here for the new 2017 Buyer's Guide. Last year I did an ebook which was quite popular, it's still popular now, but basically this year I'm doing a video course. It's still going to have the same kind of slides if you do prefer to read things, but I'll be talking through all the categories. It's been massively expanded and the whole aim of it is to help you avoid making, making massive expensive mistakes buying your first 3D printer because as always here on Maker's Muse it's my aim to empower your creativity through rapid manufacturing techniques and 3D printing and yeah hopefully this video course will provide that for you. So the link will be in the description. It's not available yet. It will be available in around two months time. Just register your interest and by registering your interest you will be getting a discount when it is released. So that's gonna do it for this video guys here on Maker's Muse. Look forward to a lot of normal content coming back soon. It's great to be back in my place. I've missed it a lot. And I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later guys. Bye. Here's the latter half of the 20th century. And man has sent rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit.